Hey, good morning everyone. So here I am outside of the Chula Vista Police Department as you can see behind me and I wanted to give kind of a uh, day two pre-search update uh, before I head out there and start looking for again for Maya. Uh, I wanted everybody to know that uh, some of the things that we discovered out there yesterday I found pretty interesting and I was going to pass that information along to the detectives. Um, so I don't know if it's of you know of worth or anything like that, but you never know. So I wanted to just kind of give them an update of what uh, you know I, I had seen out there, some of the things that uh, I came across in my search. But um, anyway, here at the Chula Vista Police Department once again, uh, this is um, where they hold Larry's guns, uh, and they're going to be having a hearing tomorrow. Uh, to determine what in San Diego to determine whether they're going to give those guns back or whether they're going to continue to um, enforce the gun violence restraining order that they have against him at this time so it'll be interesting to see if they give him back I'm gonna make a prediction that they do not give his guns back at this time he you know if he later on down the road if, if things play out in his favor he might get them back then but uh, I don't think now's the time to give Larry his guns back so anyway here they are right here uh, behind me at the Chula Vista Police Department uh, where this is an ongoing investigation um, so just wanted to say hi to everybody this morning great to see you too uh, see the comments coming in I'm gonna do just kind of a kind of a quick walk around here just to kind of show you the police department a little bit and uh, if we run into anybody that we can talk to uh, to get an update we will but I'm gonna be heading in there pretty soon to, to hopefully speak to some detectives so Yeah, so once again, I'm outside of the Chula Vista Police Department where I decided to start my day today. Um, you know, I did see some people getting on here yesterday and commenting that uh, if we find anything out there uh, by May's house that we should, uh, you know, leave it alone and flag it and stuff like that. Trust me, I understand the procedures um, and I am going to be in contact with the detectives to, you know, make sure that... Uh, you know we don't mess anything up or if we see anything interesting that we'll pass it along to them and they, they can determine whether it's something of value or if they want to just throw it in the trash can or whatever so but anyway I just wanted to give you guys a quick update once again uh, Larry and May's house is not too far from here the search area um, I have not been able to get a hold of uh, Mary Chris uh who many of you know is may's sister i would love to get a hold of her you can have her reach out to me um and i would like to be a part of the searches that they're that they're holding i don't know if they're holding one this weekend or not so anyway uh it's my prediction that pretty soon we will see larry uh entering these gates right here here at the Chula Vista Police Department. There's just too many red flags. It's not looking good for him. We've, we've been down this road before, you guys that have followed my channel, and uh, you know we saw the exact same behavior from Barry Morphew, almost identical. And uh, I think there's an imminent arrest coming soon. It's not looking good for Larry, like I said yesterday, so. Anyway, hope you guys are great. Stay safe, stay lovely, and stay tuned because hopefully at the end of the day when I give you my update at the end of the day, hopefully we have some more information for you. So you guys are amazing. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.